Ronald Brady, and I graduated uh, in 1964 with a, an associate's degree. Uh, and I was here full time for two years, and then I started my career. And then I commuted back and forth from Sandusky uh, and got a bachelor's degree in 1968. I had a limited amount of money. I worked all the way through high school, and I had saved three thousand dollars. My family didn't have any money, so I was paying the bill. And uh, I came over here and what I was totally impressed with is the fact that they offered associate's degrees and bachelor degrees. And I thought to myself, well, the 3,000 I had saved in high school while I worked would cover my expenses for my two years and get me an associate's degree. But I said, who knows, maybe I'll get lucky and someday have quite a nice chunk of money and I can come back and finish up and get a bachelor's. And that's exactly what I ended up doing. I got the associates, I started my career, and then I commuted back and forth. And then by the end of 60, by the end of 67, I had a bachelor's degree. So it was a perfect choice because a lot of schools only offered bachelor's and I couldn't afford that. And some just offered associates, but they offered both. In 1965, I was already commuting back and forth to get that bachelor's degree. So uh, I had a busy schedule, but the very first year with the John Hancock, uh, they told me uh, the highest honor in the John Hancock is to make the President's Honor Club. And uh, uh, so I set a goal that every week in the year of 1965 to do enough business to make the John Hancock's President's Honor Club. And the first year I made that. And uh, I was featured on the cover of the company magazine as the youngest John Hancock President's Qualifier, and that was at the Doral Country Club in Miami, Florida. And I was also the youngest person, and I think I still am, to have ever made the President's Honor Club with the John Hancock. And then I set a goal, uh, I learned in a salesmanship class here taught by Gene Schubert, uh, to set goals if you're in sales. And uh, so I set a goal to be a lifetime member of the John Hancock President's Honor Club, and you had to make it 10 years and uh, in 10 years, uh, in 1975, I had made my 10th one. In 1976, I was inducted as a lifetime member of the John Hancock President's Honor Club. And at that time, then, the, the, uh, the uh, John Hancock started having what are called President's Cabins, and, uh, which was double the production of, of the President's Honor Club. You had to do twice as much business. When you made that, you were in the one half of 1% of the company. When you're in the President's Honor Club, you're in the top 5%, but you made this cabinet, you're in the top one half of 1% of the company. So I started setting goals. I made eight straight President's Cabinets from 80, 76 to 84. And uh, uh, so I, was, had, I, I attained that goal. And uh, a little more about my career, I then decided to become a certified financial planner uh, through the College for Financial Planning out of Denver, Colorado. And I became a CFP in 1989. Uh, then in 1990, I was inducted into the John Hancock Hall of Fame. And then in uh, 90, 1999, I turned 55 years old and I was able to take my pension and become an independent and work with a lot of companies instead of just one. And uh, in the last nine years, I was an independent. 